Alright, what's up guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's doing a video from a new location. It's not my office, but uh, it'll do going for a walk uh, with my special camera lady, Jess, tonight. Got back from the comic book shop, picked up the Walking Dead issue 105. Uh, here's the awesome cover with Carl. Uh, obviously, probably the coolest part is in his eyes. You can see the, uh, the walkers uh, coming at him. Uh, this uh, this review will contain spoilers, just letting people know that, and um, it is cold in Canada. So uh, we're outside right now, so it is it is pretty freaking cold, so I'm going to switch uh, hands a lot since I don't have gloves on. Uh, but anyway, it is a pretty good issue. Then this is one of the issues where the cover actually has nothing to do with uh, what is shown in the comic. Uh, you know how sometimes they do this where they'll have this character on the cover in a certain pose like this one where he's shooting walkers? But at no point in this issue does this event occur at all. Um, it's basically uh, Negan and Carl sort of kind of going on a tour of Negan's place and uh, essentially us getting to know Negan a little bit better. Uh, as well as we get to see an event where Negan actually uh, burns a character's face, <laughs> which uh, basically Negan has all these different wives, okay, and uh, or he calls them wives, really they're just women that he keeps there to bang, and he comes back to find out that one of the guys, one of his wives has cheated on him with this guy named Mark, and essentially what he does to Mark is he burns his face, so you can see that right there. Um, kind of similar to how we did to, uh, I think his name's Dwayne or Dwight, uh, what is it, Dwight? Right here. So, I think in the future we could probably assume that Dwight may turn on Negan, this guy Mark may also, and maybe some of the other characters will. Um, I'm going to cut this review kind of short because I'm so freaking cold. Uh, it is a good issue, but it's a lot of backstory and there's no action. So in terms of a score, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because for me personally, even though it's really interesting to get to hear about Negan and what he's about, it uh, altogether it doesn't make for that exciting of an issue. I wouldn't say it's one that you can skip if you if you like Negan as a character and you think he's cool. You probably want to get it anyway, but um, by itself it's just it's just a seven for me. It was fun to read and to get to know about Negan, but it definitely wasn't as exciting as the last issue or the issue before it. There are quite a few funny little things Negan says as well, and he kind of uh, some people have messaged me about this. It's kind of like. Negan is similar to like the Joker in a lot of ways because he's always joking around, he's making jokes, but he feels like he still has to do these things. Now he's not a Joker clone or anything, but I'm just making, um, sort of kind of putting it out there that he does joke around a lot. He's the first character in The Walking Dead we've seen to do that. So uh, I'm going to go warm up my hands. That's pretty much all i got to say about, uh, about this issue. It is real good, but for me, it just doesn't have any action, so it's going to get a 7. Thanks guys for watching. See you for the next one. This is Trev. Stay in peace.